Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. I do hope you guys have had a fantastic day. I am doing very well. It is Bronto Mania down there because I cranked up the dino count by a fair amount. And yeah. <laughs> looks so dumb. Oh my god. Alright guys, so yeah, we've got ourselves a red loot beam here to start off today's episode, which is absolutely fantastic. In addition to that, we also have the Easter Egg event start. So I decided to do the Destroy Wild Dinos command to have a bunch of them respawn. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different colored dinos now, which is very, very interesting. So, let's begin here with the red loot beam. And I'm rather hoping that I'm not going to get absolutely ruined here. Oh, God. There's freaking piranhas already. All right. What do we got? I, I can't even see. Oh, goodness me. Buddy. Buddy. Ah, Alan, come here. Oh, jeez, man. Ah, I keep pressing E too many times. Buddy, there we go. Whew. But guys, thank you very much for all of the support throughout this series. I truly do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, my friends, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, since the last episode, like I say, I've cranked up the dino count. Um, I, I may have been playing around with some weird and wonderful settings, and I might have forgotten to revert the dino count back down to 1.0. Uh, it is currently set at 5.0, guys. Um... So yeah, there's a lot of guys around. <laughs> there's a lot of guys around. I'm pretty tempted to actually crank it back down, maybe to like 3.0 or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, once again, since the last episode, I've not been idle. There's a bunch of stuff going on here, guys. Check it out. We now have ourselves a level 230. Nine Baryonyx here, which has many, many mutations. It's got weight one, melee four, uh, food one, stamina one, torpidity one as well. So as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff going on here, guys. So yeah, like I said, I don't really know how far I want to go with this. Uh, because at the end of the day, all we're wanting to do really is get ourselves some tech rexes and then begin, uh, you know, breeding those guys up and getting mutations and all that kind of stuff. In fact, hang on, no, I do have an idea as to when I want to go ahead and uh, stop. So on the on the mutated dinos we've got going on right now, uh, he's got like 12 mutations on one side and then like 17 or something on the other side. So yeah, let's go and check this gal out real quick. And yeah, we'll check out the ancestors. Okay, so yeah, we've got 17 on one side and then 12 on the other. That means we've got a pretty limited amount that we could do more of uh, before the uh, mutations stop at actually, you know, doing anything for the dinos. So yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, obviously, at this point, we're looking for a level 241 or above. And then, yeah, once we have ourselves all of the mutations, I guess that would be the point in which we stop. So, yeah, this should be pretty awesome. But we're not going to focus too much on this today. I mean, periodically, I'll come back here, get the eggs, breed them up, and then, obviously, we'll just go at it that way. But, uh, like I said, I don't want to do that all today's episode because we did that in the last episode. So, today, we are going to go on a bit of a hunt, okay? We're going to go on the hunt for tech rexes. Now, of course, if we're going to go for very, very high level tech rexes, it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and get ourselves even more tran carriage because I don't think 71 is going to be enough. Now, thankfully, because I've killed quite a lot of dudes, I have quite the supply of stone arrows here, which is fantastic. 197 by the looks of it. Wow. Okay. And yeah, I've killed a couple of alphas since the last episode as well, so I've got myself a, uh, a nice high-end bow here, journeyman, which is nice. Nice. Uh, ascendant shotgun. Ascendant chitin chest piece with 228 armor. Ooh. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get some trank arrows on the go. And then we will be on our merry way. Well, before we do that, guys, you may have noticed I've got some Easter eggs in my inventory. The bunny egg put in a cooking pot to craft fun costumes or place on the ground as a festive decoration. Uh, placed bunny egg in area 5 out of 150. What the? Uh, I don't even know what that means, but there we go. Yeah. Wait, we can crack it open? Oh, man. Does it, like, ever run out? I hope it doesn't. All right. Well, we'll place down another one, and then we'll crack it and see what happens. Boop. Do it. Crack open. And nothing. Uh, 
Is there like a small chance that we'll actually get something? Right, I tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, split off five here. And then we'll put those in the cooking pot. And then the other nine, we will go ahead and uh, just crack, I guess. Uh, holiday. Ooh, okay. So, oh, you need like a whole bunch of these things. Dino Easter egg hat skin. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Sweet spear. That is awesome. You can use this to change the uh, helmet. Okay. C4? What? That's so dumb. <laughs> I love this. All right. Useful for issuing sweet beatdowns. Rabbit club. What the hell? All right. Let's see what we can do here. So that's nine. Boom, 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 boom. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh-huh. Okay, right. So, yeah, you. I don't think you get anything from them. If there is a rare chance of getting something, then it's obviously super rare. All right. So, yeah, again, periodically we'll uh, go on a bit of a hunt here to see if we can't get ourselves some more of these Easter eggs. Because I think it would be nice to get some event stuffs going. It's not very often I do stuff with the uh, event stuffs, huh? So, yeah. Guys, I'm excited. I am excited. But, uh, anyways, where is my... Uh, there's my KO kit. I've renamed the uh, Rigel Mama chest because we already have one. Uh, there we go. All right. And then three of these can get put away because we've got 197 of these damn things. Holy crappers. Guys, we're going to get ourselves a lot of ammo. Look at that. 185 are being crafted. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's do this thing. We've got three eggs. Let's do a rapid round. We are looking for level 241 or above. This shouldn't take too long. So anytime now. 235, 233, 237. Uh-huh. All right. Sorry, Budskis. You're all dead. <laughs> I am such a meanie. So, uh, yeah, guys. As you can see, Marlon is now level 264. And you saw there, he does 800 plus damage per time. Because his melee damage is just what I'm ranking up at this point. 2,520%. Like, this guy alone could probably take down a level 180 T-Rex. Like, he's freaking insane at this point. Because we're killing so many Baryonyxes as well. Uh, yeah, we're getting a bunch of levels up. So, let's go for... In fact, let's just go for health here. And then, what, what? Level 98 now. Uh, riot gear. Okay, why not? There's the Quetzal platform saddle. Very cool. We've got the uh, the Giga saddle. And the shocking tranquilizer dart. With 665 points remaining. Uh, what do we get at 100? I can't remember. Or was that the Titanosaur? Yeah, it is. It's the Titan. Uh, it's the uh, Titan saddle. Uh huh. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're still getting ourselves an absolute ton of arrows here. So, give me just a minute and we will do the comment of the video for both the last episode and today's episode. Because I forgot to do the last episode's one on the last episode. Because I did the one from the previous one before on that one. That doesn't make sense. Hope I don't know. You guys might you might you might figure out what I was saying there. But basically, guys, we're gonna do com two comments. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. 268 Trancaros now at our disposal. That might even be enough to get ourselves two tech rexes. Wouldn't that be nice? So in the last episode, we didn't actually do the comment of the day in the last episode for the last episode. We did the one from previous. Uh, okay, that doesn't really make, make any sense. But the fact of the matter is, we've got two comments I want to go through. Uh, first of all, Extreme Pack Openers Cool says, Python, you should get two tech parasaurs and start a breedery to get a load of electronics and scrap metal. By the way, love the vids. Thank you so much for that comment. And uh, yeah, that really does sound like a good idea because, you know, we're not really near any metal. I mean, yeah, we've got ourselves Herbivore Island over here and we can get ourselves some Ankylos and, you know, uh, take the Ankylos over there via an Argentavis and do things that way. But I think it would be a really good idea to have tech parasols on the go. I'm pretty sure the level does not affect uh, how much stuff you get per harvest. So we could just go ahead and tame ourselves a really low level parasol real quickly. Start breeding them up like insanely so. Wait them, wait for them to all grow up and then just kill them for resources. It's a great idea. I appreciate the suggestion. Thank you so much for that. So secondly, uh, Jake Volmer says, Python, raise a few more females. When I'm breeding for mutations, I typically have one male and four females. More females equals more eggs. Thank you again for that comment. I do appreciate it. Yeah, again, that's a good idea. I didn't even realize that was something you could do. So, I don't know. Maybe when it comes to the uh, tech rexes, we try to get ourselves, you know, the perfect male and then maybe four perfect females. And then we go from there. We get ourselves like a higher rate of eggs. 
I don't know. Could be a good idea. But then again, every time we gain two levels from the mutation, we'd have to get four more vexes from that as well, right? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, though, guys. We'll figure it out. So, we've got ourselves two more eggs. I'm going to go ahead and uh, chuck them in here. See if we get ourselves a 241. If we do, awesome. If we don't, then it doesn't matter because we'll just keep going. Holy crap, there is a level 241. Hello! Right, uh, I need to make sure I imprint the right one. That one. There we go. Okay, so, once care in 40 seconds. Um, you see, I'm not entirely sure. Get ruined. There you go. Oh, jeez. What? Oh, you're still there. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, level 241 baryonyx. It's also female, though. So my male one isn't actually that high at this point. Oh, man. Okay, let's check out the stats, though. What's the mutation this time? I think it might be food? Question mark? Let's check out the ancestry. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this side is totally full, but this side is not. How does one... I mean, pat patrillion... Pat patrilineal? Patrilineal. Yeah, that means uh, father, right? So if this was a male, then that would go on that side, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so essentially we've now run out of mutations. Right. Uh, Hand-fed comfort food. Wait, what? Cooked fish meat? Cooked fish meat? What? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I haven't got any of that stuff yet. Blow me, O'Reilly. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, right. Let's take Bob out. Do, do you still have your uh, harvest settings? Uh, yeah, you do. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, Bob is basically my dude. Okay. We've been going to caves with this guy and getting resources and all kinds of epic stuff, guys. You know, stuff we don't really need to worry about anymore. So, as a result, this guy's got quite a lot of melee damage. So, yeah. I think it was a nice idea just to have one that we could use for caves and just... <laughs> taking people out of the game, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God, he's running wild. Okay, behavior, disable wandering. Ah, what's wrong with you there, sir? All right. Ah, oh, goodness me. Eat the fish. There you go. All right, you're still adolescent. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. I need myself, like, one bit of cooked fish. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I've got to hand feed it to him before he becomes an adult. And then we should get the imprinting quality. Boom. Wait, how do you do it? What's to be hand fed? Like, I'm trying to. Do you have to put it on here? So if I do that, boop, there you go. Wants to be hand-fed comfort food, cooked fish meat. But I just did that. I literally just did that. Oh, does it? Oh, it needs to be on the last slot, doesn't it? Oh, I'm being so stupid here. Come on. I'm choking this real badly, guys. Okay. Ah, there you go. Imprinting plus 33%. Cool. There we go. So yeah, a lot of you guys were saying that imprinting is definitely worth going for. The only thing is, I think my maturation rate is too fast for the imprinting to keep up with. So, I think I might need to, uh, like, make the imprinting quality even faster still. So, yeah, I think that's something to uh, bear in mind. Alright, wait, I've got another egg? I don't even know where I got this thing from. Right, you could go there. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, you love to see it. Okay, so another thing you guys were saying. In fact, to be honest, there was so much amazing feedback and uh, hints and tips from you guys in the last episode. Like, it's actually kind of bonkers, guys. I truly, truly appreciate all of the kind, supportive, and uh, helpful words. I do appreciate it. So, one of you guys was saying that at level 22, there is a trophy wall mount. Why did I try to do that? I'm so dumb. There it is. Trophy wall mount. Cementing paste and wood will allow us to make this bad boy. Okay, so do we have cementing paste? Yes, we do. Lots of it. Okay, do we have wood? Wood, 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 wood. Yep, lots of it. Okay, crafting. Trophy wall man. How many of these can we make? Two. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely down with that. Oh, man. We're, we're going to be able to put ourselves the Alpha Carno and Alpha Raptor stuffs on. That's got to be sick, dude. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Trophy wall mounts. So let's go ahead and uh, put them up on the wall here. Okay, we can have one there. And then we'll probably put one in that corner as well, of course. Uh, so, yeah. Alpha Carno is this. And then Alpha Raptor Claw is this. So, how does this work? Do you just put it in the inventory? Uh, do that. Do that. Trophy base. What? Apply a trophy to this. I'm trying to. Oh, well, that's silly. 
Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that, so I've just looked at the uh, ARC wiki, and apparently there's only certain trophies you can put on there. You could put some mask skins on there, you could put Alpha Rex, Alpha Deathworm, Alpha Wyvern trophies on there, Broodmother, Megapithecus, and uh, Dragon trophies can go on there, but you can't put these, like, lower-end ones on. Ah oh, man. That sucks, dude. That really sucks. Why did the ARC divs make it so you can only do that? That's such a oh man, man Arctabs, you need to you need to like you need to give some TLC to various parts of this game, man. Like uh, it sucks that you can't put these little trophies in there, dude. You need to do that. You really do. Oh my goodness, you guys are right. <laughs> now these two are mating at the same time. How? You are an unbelievable cheat, there, sir. What the heck? <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, it's not that well. It's not really dumb. Oh my god. You're just like a compulsive cheat, aren't you there, sir? Unbelievable. All right. So what is this mutated star? I don't even know. Oh, okay. So it's actually weight as far as I can tell. Uh, wait, what? Hang on a minute. That's even more. 765610. 3500. Oh, right. It's because of this buff, isn't it? Ah, okay. Huh. Okay, so I'm tempted to go ahead and uh, quickly change my settings, and then uh, we shall see if we can get the imprinting buff properly. Oh yeah, for those of you guys wondering what happened to Bell, Bryony, and Brian, um, yeah, this sign, we're going to start running out of space eventually. So I kind of decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and uh, kill them, uh, because like I said, I just don't want to have a whole bunch of baryonics freaking sprawled across my base, you know what I'm saying? They're going to freaking litter the place, aren't they? So, yeah, just something to uh, bring you guys up to speed on, I guess. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, so for these Tech Rexes, for the first time, I am actually going to use a taming pen. What I think I'm going to do is place a taming pen at the river where they usually spawn. So where that red loot beam was at the start of today's episode, that's going to be the rough area in which we do this thing. So... As far as I know, what we need to do is we need to make ourselves like a large square and then have ourselves a door frame so we can get out, but the Rex can't get out, okay? And then when the Rex is actually tame, we can then just get rid of the walls or whatever it is we need to do, and then we're good to go. So, we've got this thing going on here. We need ourselves a bunch of foundations here as well, of course, so we can get this thing underway. I'm thinking a 3x4 area should do the job, so we need 12 of these bad boys. Uh, probably two stone door frames and then we need ourselves uh, a bunch of walls and then obviously a way for the Rex to get in uh, in the form of a ramp. So this should be a fairly simple build all things considered and I'm hoping it will do the job nicely in terms of keeping the tech Rexes uh, contained. So yeah this should be Fairly simple if all goes well, okay? <laughs> if all goes well. That's the operative phrase right there, my friends. If all goes well. So, yeah, guys. Here we go. I've just done a bunch of resource grinding. I'm pretty sure I've calculated the uh, resources and building stuffs exactly. And in terms of these baryonyxes, basically any dino that is level 241 or above is going to be the end of the line and will be peeps that we go ahead and imprint, okay? So, yeah, that's what we're going for now. So it should be a good time. So let's see what we get here. If we get a 241 or above, we're going to keep it. We're going to imprint it. And it's going to be a fantastic time. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, 239 and 235. Okay, none of you are decent. Goodbye. Sorry, not sorry. All right, let's go, baby. We got ourselves a taming pen to build. And then we've got to try and get ourselves a tech rex and then try to lure it in there. Which, I don't know how this is going to go, but if, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> if this design works well, then we're going to be in for a good time, okay? <laughs> Look at the colour of these Sarkos! They're pretty cool! Hey, do you mind? You're not so cool when you attack me! Level 10, level 25, okay. Well, you can basically all go die, because I don't need you in my life. Not at all. Alright, so Tech Rexes. Uh, so I'm trying to think of where else they might spawn quite frequently. Uh, <clears throat> you see, I don't want to go too far away from my base, but that area on the left-hand side there, where we got our high-level Argentavis before, it's a pretty good place to get them, man. 
There's got to be other places we can get Rexes, though. Alrighty, well, we've got a regular Rex here, which is only level 30. And there's an Alpha Raptor down there. And there's, I think, another Alpha Raptor over there. Oh, goodness me, guys. This is so dumb. Let me know what you guys think in the comments area below, by the way. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's put a poll on the screen. What do you guys think our dino count should be on? So, originally, it was just on 1.0. Uh, currently, it's on 5.0 because I forgot to change it back. I also had the option of going for 3.0. What do you guys think? Should we keep it cranked up for maximum fun? And, you know, danger and entertainment value? Or do you think we should uh, put it back down to one or maybe middle ground of three or something like that? I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. I would be very interested to hear your feedback. Oh, hey there, Explorer No. How you doing there, broski? Yeah, the plesiosaur. Argentavis has a level up, huh? That's cute. All right, well, let's go for melee damage. At this point, I'm just going to go for melee damage. You've got a hell of a lot of health there, buddy. 8,000. I mean, do we really need more than 8,000 health for the Argentavis? I mean, if I'm going to go for anything now, it's got to be damage. All right. So, Rexies, where the devil are you all? Ah, uh, you, my good sir or ma'am, you will be mine. So, well, maybe not you because you're only level 5, but uh, eventually... You will be mine. I will make a flying base for the first ever time in my personal arc history. That would be awesome. So yeah, I don't think it's going to be too long before we're able to do that. I mean, we do have the uh, the Quetzal platform saddle now. So, you know, it's just a case of uh, building it and then giving it a bit of a go. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. All right. Come on, Rexies. Where are you at, huh? I'm going to find you and I'm going to tame you. Well, blimey, there is a level 140 regular Rex. Now, as much as you are epic, I want tech Rexes because they're higher, man. Level 180 or bust. That's what we're going for today, my friends. Get freaking wrecked. Everybody will die at my hand. Oh, my God. Get destroyed. Imagine if that was an alpha Rex. Imagine how much XP I would have got from that. Good Lord. Go on, Brontos. I mean, you're all going to die in the finish. So there we go. There's a level 50 out the game. And go for the double kill. There we go. Oh, is that just a red Rex? That's not an alpha, is it? It's not got the particle effect. Oh, that's a cool looking Rex. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm kind of down with it. All right. I'm just going to kill every normal Rex in sight. Just because I want XP, man. I'm going to get myself to level 100 real soon. Yeah, don't mind if I do. All right, baby, come on. Come on, man. There's got to be some tech rexes somewhere. Oh, hello there, Mr. Bear. Hey, Barry. You're going to die, sucker. Megatherium, you're all dead. <laughs> oh, it's like Dinomania up in this business, huh? Well, holy crappers. There's an Alpha Carno there. Is it going to be a high level? Please be a high level. I want to take down a high level one. Okay, level 90 is moderately high level. I'm kind of down with it. All right. 400 damage per time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we're doing this thing. Oh, goodness me. I can't even see what the devil's going on. Do we want to go? Nope, that's even worse. Okay, stay in third person mode. Come on, then. Let's have all the XP in the world. This might even tip me over to level 100. I can't see. Oh, my God. Can you, like, come over here, please, bud? You are being such a pain in my backside. God. God. Sick him. Sick him, Argy. Sick him, Argy. Ah, you have run into the weakness spot there, sir. You go in the water, I will kill you very, very easily because you move slower. <laughs> All right, you are visibly damaged. I don't think it's going to be too long now, my friends. Come on, we ourselves have a level up. Any minute now. Epic music is keeping on going, baby. Come on. Yeah, level 90. You'd love to see it. How many levels up? Five. Oh, my goodness. Okay, right. 1,876% damage. And there's our two levels up. 450 on that. And let's, let's go for stamina. We'll try and round it off at maybe 250 there. Or maybe we could use a mind wipe tonic and just, uh, you know, completely rejig around what we've got going on. Okay, level 100 Titanosaur saddle. Yeah. I have never, ever tamed the Titanosaur. Could be pretty interesting, right? There's so many things I'm still yet to do in Ark for the first time. Like, it's actually kind of bonkers when I think about it. Like, there's so much depth to this game. It's unbelievable. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He spawned in midair. What the hell? 
All right, well, that's obviously a Titanosaur. There we go, level five. Right, as far as I can remember, they can only spawn up to a certain level. Is it level five? I don't know. I've never, ever tamed one before. I don't really have any knowledge on them. Uh, Textego. There's a regular Rex over there. Oh, man. God diggity darn. I guess we're going to kill it. Uh-huh. Spinos around. Yeah. Still no sign of a tech wreck. We haven't found a single one yet. Mr. Therizino, can you stop guarding this red loot beam, please? Because I would very much like to see what we got. C4 and Thylaco. Uh-huh. Or Thylacolio. Uh-huh. All right. I mean, eh, it's not too bad. But it's also a bit meh, really. All right. Well, let's continue on. I mean, uh, this is, uh, this... This Tech Rex hunt, it's, it's taken a while, guys. It's taken a while. Uh, Mr. Rexy, I don't think that going after all of these Brontos is going to be in your best interest there, sir. I really would advise against it. They will probably kick your butt. They really would. Oh, goodness me. All right, well, apparently we, we're now taken on... Oh, God. We're taken on Bronto country, guys. Oh, goodness me. Okay, every single resident is going to die. I'm sorry, buddy, but that's just the way of the world. <laughs> All right, level 85 out the game. Everybody going to die. Everybody going to die. Oh, my goodness me. The game is struggling. The game is struggling. Ah, level 25. Ah, oh, look at that. There's a little Easter egg dodo. Oh, you're adorable. All right, take that. And take that. And oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, son of a... Get out of here. There we go. I want to go check out... Uh, Hang on, just got to take out the trash. Is that everybody? No, there's a whole bunch more of you, huh? That's adorable. Oh, wait. Oh, he died. It wasn't me who did that, was it? I don't know. <laughs> Look at the little bunny dodo. You're adorable with your little bunny ears. <laughs> oh, so dumb. All right, well, there's an egg right there. There's an egg right there. Uh, any more for any more? No, doesn't look like it. We've got ourselves four little eggies. Oh, sorry, five little eggies. Nice. Yeah! Absolute mayhem! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 that's a triple kill. Oh, the game is struggling. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I'd almost say that it's worth turning down the spawn settings just to save the game. Oh, my gosh. Wow, okay, and then you're the final one, huh? The final survivor. Ah, that's cute. And now you're dead. Level 15. You're not worth it. You're not even worth it. You're not even as valuable as a piece of dirt on the bottom of my shoe. Hey, there's no decorous here. What? They're, like, really near my base as well. My base is, like, literally there. Huh. Can those guys be bowlered? Is that something we can do? What level is this guy? Don't decorate. Wait. Don't get curious. Level 10. Useless. You're going to die, sir. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't try and avoid it. Don't try and avoid it, sir. All right. Just accept it. Oh, there's a blue one there. Please be level 150. Wait, where is he? What? Where'd he go? I don't see him anymore. Oh. Having a little bit of a run there, buddy. Level 5? That's an insult. That's an insult, that is. Get out of here. Worthless. All right, back to the eggies. Hey, there's a 241, baby. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can uh, siphon him off. There we go, 241. Boom. Okay, Baryonyx wants to cuddle. There you go. Plus 3%? What? Why only 3%? The last one was like 33%. There you go. Another 3%. Oh. So we just got to keep doing this? Baryonyx wants to go on a walk? I mean, okay. I can do that. Uh, if I can get out. Huh! Uh, buddy. Oh, God. I'm stuck! Bud! I can't... I can't... Well, I mean, your maturation still seems to be going up. For God's sake, can I, like... I can't move. Oh, there we go. All right, come on in, buddy. Out you come. Out you come. Level 241, huh? Enjoy... Not you! Marlon! Dumbo! For God's sake. Right. Uh, Baryonyx. Come on, baby. 
Come on, you know you want to. There you go. So, yeah, you're going on a walk now, apparently. So, disable wonder. Hey, 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 hey. Enable mating. Okay. Wait, what? He still wants to go on a walk. Okay. I mean, I, I could deal with that. I could deal with that. Come on, broski. Where are you going? Come over this way. Come on. Come and, come and meet your parents, huh? There we go. Imprinting plus 3% wants care. Okay, what do you want now? Buddy, if you could stay there, that'd be fantastic. Wants to go on a walk again. Okay, let's go on a walk. Now, I've never done this imprinting thing before, ladies and gentlemen, so this is kind of cool, actually. I'm, like, learning new things, even still. This is awesome. Oh, wait, do I not have any... Oh, look at you. All right, what do you want now? Uh, wants to cuddle. There you go. Enjoy. Wants care. What do you want now, buddy? Another cuddle. Enjoy. 61%. Okay. Basic kibble. What? I don't have that. I don't have any kibble, dude. Oh, I'm real sorry, but uh, you're going to have to kind of just deal with it. Oh, man. What is your match? Wow, imprinting is only 16%. That is... That's pretty tragic, actually. Wow. What the hell happened? Like, I did something once with this other guy, and it went up 33%. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I did go ahead and uh, change the setting slightly, but maybe I changed it to the point where the imprinting isn't really that effective. Because I don't have basic kibble. I just don't. I'm sorry there, buddy. I am sorry. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go grab you some uh, meat real quick, just so you can uh, heal yourself. Oh. Do you know Oh, what? I need to get Bob to go on a bit of a freaking rampage. All right, guys, so we've got two further 241s. We have gone ahead and decreased the care thing. So it's every two minutes now, which should still mean that these two uh, will be, you know, kids, basically. So, yeah, right. Uh, can I, like, get out of here? And then you two can, like, follow. Uh, actually, I might as well go ahead and uh, do the whole disable wandering, enable mating. There we go. So you are a female again. Oh, my gosh. Wait, are they both females? Oh, my gosh. Wow, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of females going on. So now I'm pretty sure we have four two four one females. So we just need a two four one male, and then we're good, baby. Oh yeah, come on, then, broskies, let's do this thing. You two need to come over this way. All right, here we go. Wants care, wants to cuddle. One hundred percent. Wow, that did it. Wow. Yay! Okay. Well, that's the way to do it. Apparently, 100% means that... Wow. 4,000 health, 1,105 stamina, 829% melee damage. Ooh. That is a big oof. That is, like, huge, man. That is huge. Wow. Okay, so... I think I've got my settings finalized, guys. So as long as we have ourselves the uh, cooked fish meat, we should be able to keep these guys uh, up and going, right? Wow. Amazing. Hey! Who dares... Someone dares. Wait, oh, you're coming over here, huh? Let me, uh, let me just take out the trash real quick. A little bit of base defense. Yeah, I ain't having that. I ain't having that at all. All right, so yeah, we've got Bob, who's like our one that we use to go caving. And then we've got our freaking breeding circle here. Uh, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? So yeah, these guys are about to become adults. Okay, any second now. Come on, baby. There we go. Fantastic. So, yeah, look at those stats, bro. Wow, 52 mutations? What the hell? How does that number work? Does it go up like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16? Like, does it go up like that? I've got absolutely no idea. Gosh darn. All right, well, there we go, guys. A whole bunch of baryonyxes. A whole bunch of mutated, imprinted ones. Fantastic. Right, now back to our Tech Rex goal. Holy crap. I think we found one, guys. Tech Rex. Right, what level is it? Level 72. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I mean, that's like not even halfway up to the level that I was looking for, guys. Oh, that's so sad. I really would have liked to go ahead and tame you, but I'm going to have to kill you because the more I kill the dinos, the more they seem to respawn. So me going on these rampages is actually working out for us pretty well, apparently. There we go. Tyrannosaurus arm. Oh, I'm so sad. Come on, bro. Level 180 is what we're looking for, my dudes. There's got to be one somewhere. They... Oh, they're so freaking rare. It's unbelievable. Huh. Refining Forge. Don't mind if I do. Hey, who goes? Oh, stupid. Get... Son of a... Get out of here. 
Ah, oh, stupid bugs. I hate them so much. Jeez. Ah, <sighs> come on. Come on, baby. So, yeah, I've got myself a refining forge out of this. So, yeah, when it comes down to it, guys, I think once we uh, get to our, you know, pre-ascendant max level of 105, I think what I'll do is use a mind wipe tonic to then go through all of the blueprints that I currently have back at base and then not unlock them again via the uh, engram screen here uh, because then we could save the points towards other things. So, yeah, I think a mind wipe tonic in the not-too-distant future will probably be a good idea idea. Uh, okay, there's only one thing that makes that sound. Another tech rex. Okay, 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 this is cool, this is cool. What level, what level, what level? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh boy! Okay, level 100 80. Guys, there's only one thing to do at a time like this, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is to time lapse this because good god this is going to take a freaking age bro it's gonna take such a long time all right here we go hey buddy yeah what you gonna do sucker oh, okay okay you do you babe wait is that is that there's bugs all it get out of here you son of a oh, dude i literally hate bugs in this game that's so annoying wait so it seems that me being perched up on this rock is actually working out for us quite nicely Okay. Whoop! Off we go! Come on! Time lapse begins! my god, get wrecked. My shots are on right now, guys. Oh, hang on. Never mind. Oh, my goodness. Come on! Oh, oh my god, it hit him in the tail. Wow, okay, boom! Come on! Come on! You want to be my friend? You do! You want to be my friend? It's another hit. Come on, baby. If you're running away, it can only mean that you're super close to being KO'd here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. My long shots are absolutely ace right now. <laughs> Wrecked. Come on. There we go. There's another one. Come on. I'll tell you what. This has literally been the easiest tame I think I've ever done. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, he got stuck on a rock, dude. Like, wh what else could I ask for, aside from a super easy tame? Oh my goodness, come on. You're so nearly there, come on. That's the only reason you'd run away, bro. Come on! Yes! Finally! We did it, ladies and gentlemen, we freaking did it! Level 150! Uh, sorry, level 180! Ah, oh, brilliant! All right, prime meat, please. Prime meat. Right, where can we get prime meat from? I need to enable harvesting first. Uh, right, boom. Harvest. Enable. Right, boom. Let's go kill something. I need something that will give me prime meat. Uh, okay, this Diplodocus will probably do the job. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. Come on. I really don't want to lose any taming effectiveness. Because if I do, I'm going to be real sad. All right, buddy. Enjoy prime meat. There you go. All right. Wow, okay, your health is, like, really low. Oh, it's a female as well. Interesting. Okay. Right, so once this gets to, what, 8,650 and below, he, uh, well, she should start eating, right? Please, dear Lord Gods, let me have 100% or very, very near 100% taming effectiveness. Come on, baby. You know you want to do it for me. I need to defend this gal with my life. Because if she loses taming effectiveness, then this whole thing is down the toilet, okay? I'm not about to have that. Come on, baby. We're waiting. We're waiting. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. Please. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a compy. Oh. Okay. No! 
No, 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 no. I was nowhere near her. I was nowhere near her. I was nowhere near. I searched around for an hour and a half for this gal. I only wanted to take down the Dilophosaur. I thought I was taking down something else, bro. Oh.